Hi everybody, Greg is here. I wanted to uh, make a short review of probably one of the most exciting scientific developments that is ongoing right now uh, and it generates new results almost all the time. And although it is mostly physics, I'll try to emphasize the chemistry part. So let's start from very recent actually history. So those two guys, Andre Game and Kostya Novoselov, they discovered a material named graphene. That's two-dimensional material made of carbon atoms. In case you haven't heard the story of how it was discovered, it's an amazing story of itself. Graphene is actually one layer from graphite. Graphite is this black thing that is in your pencils and that leave the marks on the paper. That's the molecular structure of graphite looks like, many, many layers which connected between themselves with weak forces. In contrast to diamond, which also made only of carbon atoms, but all the atoms interconnected in the matrix, and that's diamond, one of the strongest materials. Game and Novoselov, I guess, didn't took a pencil, but they took a piece of graphite and uh, using a sticking tape, they took layers and put, the, put them on the electronic microscope sample and they were able to prove that they have single layer of carbon atoms and they were a able to use this material to prove some laws of physics which I will not go into as I said and they got a Nobel Prize in 2010 for this in physics. Also may perhaps worth mentioning that Andre Game I think is the only person in the world that received both Nobel and Ig Nobel Prize. The Ig Nobel Prize uh, was received earlier for a levitating frog. You can google it, I will not go into it, but it's a remarkable scientist. Both of them are remarkable scientists of course. But that's not where the fun ends not only with the discovery of the single layer. And of course, when it was uh, discovered, people started to work trying to do different things to understand what can be done, how it can be used for electronics. But very interesting thing was found, not with the single layer graphene, but with the bilayer graphene. And it was done by this guy in MIT. That's another miracle. It's almost as miraculous as the discovery of the graphene itself. He took a bilayer, he twisted it a little bit. So you can see here it's twisted by 1.1 degree. So in the middle you can't see it, but as you go farther from the middle, you see that the atoms become shifted from, from one another. This angle is called a magic angle. And he found that in this state, this bilayer is superconductive. What is superconductivity? Superconductivity is a property of material in which the electrical current goes in this material without resistance. Think of it. Right now, what you have those wires everywhere, right? Made of copper, made of other materials, other metals. But even in the most conductive of those materials, there is a resistance, right? So the, the, the current doesn't go without losing energy. However, in theory and also in practice, the material can be in a state that there is no resistance, so you don't lose any energy. It will, it, if you can get a superconductor to conduct your electricity, you will save like a lot, a lot of energy. It will just, it, it will be solution for the world energy crisis. The problem of superconductors is that they work at very low temperature. However, in the 80s, a different superconductivity was discovered called the non-classical superconductivity, at which the material, in theory, can be superconductive at room temperature. The problem is that there is no good theory that can predict if this material or another material it will be superconductive. So when I heard first about this discovery of the superconductivity in twisted graphene, it really 
sounded like a miracle. It sounded like the guy was just playing with the graphene and suddenly he discovered it can be super conductive at 1.1 degree. That's how it looked like in the description from journalists. But actually, of course, it was not the case. So uh, what was happening is that uh, there was a theory that predicted that at this particular angle, it called the magic angle, some interaction between electrons of the two layers happens, which is a strange interaction. Of course, they didn't know will it be or will it not be superconductive and at what temperature. So after this theoretical prediction, the scientists had to develop methods how to prepare this by layer with such a precise twist and to study it and then to understand which interesting properties does it have. And that's what they discovered that is actually a superconductive at 1.7 Kelvin. Still, it's 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 an incredible thing. And of course, it didn't end with this. Last summer, the same group discovered if you take multi-layer graphene, like three layers or four layers, there are twist angles exist that you can arrange those layers at which this material, multi-layer carb graphene, becomes also superconductive in a non-classical way. That was published last summer. Now, the authors do not say, but again, for me as an external viewer of this work, it seems like you can imagine a graphite, actually, in which each layer twisted by a specific angle and this material will become superconductive. I'm not saying it will be superconductive at room temperature. For example, for a three or four layer, the maximum uh, critical temperature they achieved was 2.5 Kelvin. But who knows if this can be done for a large scale material, right? Again, it's just my imagination. Another thing, you see this uh, representation of the yellow spheres. Those are electron couples. So uh, to be superconductive, as I said, there should be a particular interaction between the electrons on those layers and upon those specific interactions the electron pairs are forming and those electron pairs which cause the superconductivity the so-called cooper pairs now for me as a chemist these electron pairs it's look like a chemical bond without the actual atoms so bring two atoms together and the two electrons interact between the atom in this case we you have two electrons which caused the superconductivity, but there's no atoms they connect. And I just took a look in the Nature magazine and I saw that, yeah, right now this field is uh, exploding. You can see in, this is just two papers only in Nature and only in January from two different groups deal with the bilayer graphene here and they add another layer of material. In this case, it's uh, tungsten biselenide. And uh, by adding this layer, they enhance the superconductivity of the bilayer graphene. Uh, in this case, they take completely different materials, uh, molybdenum tellurium, two layers of this molybdenum tellurium, and they see that they can make this material superconductive. So it seems like with all those findings and all those studies, we come closer and closer to understanding the nature of the superconductivity and to understand can we make a room temperature superconductor or not. I really hope that we're going to see this uh, happening very soon. So that's basically everything I wanted to say in today's video. Thanks a lot for your attention. Please subscribe to this channel and like this and other videos on it. And of course, support Ukraine. There is one year of war now. The Ukrainians heroically defend their land. They will win and the aggressor will lose. Thanks and have a great day.